What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my living room. Why am I sitting in my living room doing nothing right now? I'm sitting in my living room. I turned my TV on. I got done rendering tons of videos for this week. Finally finished. Got some free time. So what do I, what do I decide to do? I decided to log into my PlayStation 4 and play some video games. But unfortunately, can't happen right now because for the second time in September, the PlayStation Network is down. How many times can we accept I'm sorry from you, Sony? How many times can we are aware of the problems that we're looking into at work? When are we going to hear you say that a potential threat or DDoS attack or something was thwarted by your efforts to keep PlayStation Network stable and secure? Here we are one day away from the PlayStation meeting where PlayStation 4K and PlayStation Slim are going to be announced, possibly a PlayStation Portable. One day before this event, you allow PlayStation Network to be taken down. And for hardworking people like myself who don't really have tons of time, when I finally do get some downtime, you know, I'm done with my dinner, I'm done with editing videos, I'm done with hanging with my wife and kids, I want to spend a little bit of time on my PlayStation 4, and I get a fucking error message when I finally have time. It's really unacceptable for me to buy something from you, Sony and pay $50, $50 or $59 a year now for a service that is this susceptible to issues, this susceptible to DDoS attacks, this susceptible to anything. It's like if the wind blows, PlayStation Network goes down, and I'm quite frankly tired of it. I love PlayStation, I love PlayStation games, I love PlayStation developers, but I don't like or love the infrastructure that you guys have built over at PlayStation. When people are now paying and you got upwards of 20 million PlayStation 4 owners paying you for a PlayStation Network. This network should be a much more reliable service. How often, how often does Netflix go down? Ever. How often does a paid service go down? People pay for their service. It really doesn't. Because these things are protected by the companies who are taking in all this money. So, with all the money that you guys are taking in, Sony, what are you doing to protect our investment. We're paying you $50, $60 a year now because 50 wasn't enough and you wanted to be in parity with the Xbox. So to get 10 extra dollars a, a, a year for nothing, and we still are going to have these kind of issues. We're still going to get <sighs> tweets from Sony, from PlayStation saying that we are aware. This article, guys, is on uh, Forbes.com. PlayStation is down once again in second September outage. With no scheduled maintenance plan, Sony's online gaming network is offline for the second time this month. The first time the PlayStation Network went down this month was on September 1st, following an August 26th outage just days earlier. So, here we are on the 6th. Already twice this month? You guys are... Uh, and you call this a service? We should be getting refunds from you! The outage today comes on the eve of Sony's big PlayStation event tomorrow. Absolutely it does, Sony. And now, you know, there's a game I wanted to play online. I can't play it because it's a PlayStation exclusive. I think some of you guys know what that game probably is. And it's just... When is enough going to be enough? When are you actually going to enact changes that stop this from happening? Why do we, the consumer, who are giving you our money, have to deal with this constantly? I'm not saying that Xbox doesn't go down. They do. They get DDoS, they have issues, but nobody gets as many issues as you do, Sony. And if, you, if you're if you this susceptible to getting consistent and constant issues, you would think that some of these millions of dollars that you guys are raking in for PlayStation Plus will be going toward your security infrastructure and protecting people from having these issues when people are pressed for time. I'd hate to be the guy who, you know, works 12-hour days three or four days a week and finally has an hour or two to play a game because he's so busy at work or school and he finally has that time and he goes to his PlayStation and all of a sudden, bam, PlayStation Network's down. Let me go to my laptop and find out what's going on. <sighs> PlayStation. You guys know I love my PlayStation. You know, I love them. I love the developers. I love tons of the games, but I just don't love what's going on here. When is enough going to be enough? I mean, there has to be a breaking off point where you have to acknowledge that you're doing something wrong. If all you can ever do is come to us and say, we're sorry, we're noticing an issue as well, and we're, we're investigating it? 
That's what they said. They said, we are aware that users are experiencing issues logging into PSN. Thanks for your patience as we investigate. Sony, really? You didn't investigate a week ago when this happened? I mean, do you do you need somebody to like hire a professional private investigator for you to find out what's going on? Do you not have security infrastructure at all at PlayStation? At the PlayStation Network? Something needs to be done. This is not this is not an adequate excuse or an adequate response for this many outages. And I'm pissed off about it to be totally honest. I'm tired of PlayStation's network. I'm really sick of it. And that's my rant. Let's go. I'm looking forward to finding out what's going on tomorrow. Hopefully that event doesn't get taken offline. <laughs> what if they hit the stage and say, we don't know where the PlayStations went. We think somebody sold all of them. We don't even have any to show you. Because everybody in the fucking world has PlayStation Slims now. Sony is horrible at keeping secrets. God, if Sony was somebody in a relationship with somebody else, every secret they have would be exposed. Because Sony just doesn't know how to keep shit to themselves. And they don't know how to protect their service. It's just really... It's unbelievably, uh, you know, amateurish the way Sony's conducting business. I'm so surprised that PlayStation Neo hasn't been long, uh, uh, leaked. I'm totally shocked that it hasn't been leaked. PlayStation Slim has been leaked, it's been reviewed. That's gotta be really pissing somebody off over at Sony. There has to be some people who are confident there. And say, what? why the hell is this happening? Who is allowing these leaks to happen? What's going on? There's got to be somebody in the position of authority who has a brain. There's got to be somebody at PlayStation Network that's saying, these outages can be stifled. They can be taken care of if we start doing this. But there's some moron in the, in the position, position of authority doing something totally different. I'm, I'm just tired of PlayStation at this point. I'm tired of the way that they're conducting business. And I want to let you guys know that... Hopefully things change in the near future. Uh, I am excited to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, probably the thing I'm excited about the most, uh, believe it or not, is the revelation of a possible PlayStation Portable and new portable device. I'm big on my portables, and if they do that right, I think that would be something I'd be really interested in. PlayStation Neo uh, is kind of exciting. Uh, you know, it's a beefed up PS4. Wow. You know, in my opinion, wow. If it was a completely new generation of PlayStation, it was, you know, it had its own games, exclusive games coming to it that could really utilize that power, I'd be more excited. But, you know, a beefed up uh, backwards compatibility box really isn't that special to me, personally. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below about PlayStation being out. You know, PlayStation's out once again. Uh, let me know in the comments what your biggest predictions are for tomorrow to see if you're right. What, what will we see at the PlayStation meeting tomorrow on September 7th? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you have an Xbox One like I do so you can log in and play it. Because Sony's PlayStation Network sucks. I hope you enjoyed the video. But I'm the Beast of the Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.